if we want to install an application in a device or a simulator using the debug token and we've previously created and installed the debug token itself into our devices and the next step is to pack your app and to well install it of course so first thing you need to do is go to the folder where your app is and grab all the files and create a zip file with all of them in the inside so the, 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 the inside of the zip file needs to be like this it's gonna have the config file the index page everything that, that um, that's part of your app then um, we are gonna go to the folder where our webworks SDK is installed and we'll use this this file here bbwp to pack our app this is gonna be the same in no matter what operating system you're using um, what we'll do now is type uh, bbwp and then the, we type the full path to our zip file that we just created we um, we type this option D because we'll be using a debug token that's already that should be in this folder by the way it's not here but it's in your case it should be there that's that's basically because I, I do this in I don't do this in Windows um, and then the output of the of the of the files that you'll generate so what that's gonna look like let me show you um, <coughs> I have um, a folder called time tracker where the time tracker application leaves and then one that says output so I, I type that path the, the output one and it'll it'll create two folders uh, device and simulator one they both have a bar file in the inside so you'll use the one that corresponds to the the type of um, device that you're going to use if it's a real device or a simulator simulated one so the, the path here will be that full path to that output folder that I created I recommend you to use a different one than the so don't don't output this to the to the app to the file folder where the app is because it's gonna get very confusing afterwards so just create a different folder for, for the outputs once you do that then you'll have these two folders like I just showed you and the final step is to send that to the device. We'll go to dependencies and then um, we'll go to tools, bin, and we'll use Blackberry deploy again. Blackberry deploy install app password the password that we use to unblock our device device and the IP address that uh, you have already seen how to obtain from the settings window and then type package and in here we write the full path to the, the, the bar file if we are deploying to a simulator you use the, the one inside simulator if you are deploying to a device you use the one inside device and it's that simple you press enter and it, if it's all good it should um, deploy the app to your device so you can test it um, in a more um, realistic environment